Hey Jammers, Snowy Claw here again. This episode is, this little video is for Crystal Reef Journey Guide. Now, let's get started. So up here's your journey book. And we're going to get started on Crystal Reef and try to find all these fellas. Oh look, there's the manta ray. Oops, stingray, sorry. There's a difference. <laughs> Careful, they're spiny tails. <laughs> and here, it's a little feather duster worm. They live in long tubes, built out of sand and mud, and held together with mucus. It may seem kind of weird, but it's how they survive. Anyway, next is, ooh, that's brain coral, I believe. Come on, there it is, brain coral. Looks like a giant brain, right? <laughs> Let's see. Oh. Yeah, something similar though. Now let's head up this way. Oh look, there's the puffer fish. What a neat little guy. The puffer fish. Puff up like a balloon when disturbed. I'm sure Nemo fans know what those guys are. <laughs> and there's our lobster. Five pairs of legs. Wow. Sometimes they lose a claw to a predator or when they're fighting. And they, one of them's smaller than the other. It's kind of funny. Oh, and look, here's the flounder. He's being real tricky and trying to blend in with the rock up here. There's the flounder. And they've evolved to be flat. Isn't that wacky? That's how they survive, though. Let's see. Here are our little barnacles. Those are tricky because there's so many barnacles around this edge of the reef. Calcium carbonate shells. That's why it's important to protect our oceans because when acid le acidity levels rise, that inhibits the um, those poor barnacles from making their shells. And then the babies can't survive. It's really sad. Let's see, what else do we have? Oh, well, we need to find the clownfish. He should be hanging up up here. Where's the clownfish? Hmm. Oh yes, he's hiding. Ooh, tricky clownfish. Oh, there he is. So if he doesn't come out, maybe just click that, that sea anemone a few times. He might just poke his head out. What next? Ooh, let's go find the tube sponges. Oh wait, are they right here? Nope, different tube sponges. Hmm, check out these ones. Yep, those are the ones. They're actually simple animals, not plants. And all, like barnacles, they, sh they shift through the water for nutrients. Look, a whale! A humpback whale, those guys are neat. They strain for krill, plankton, and small fish out of the water with their baleen mouths. Now, almost done. Let's find the staghorn coral next. It should be somewhere around here. Here we are. A stony coral gets its name from the remnants of the horns of a stag, a male deer. Neat. What else can we find? I think we're missing the very tricky Merlin. Wonder where he's at. Oh, Merlin! Hmm. Let's see. Might have to wait a bit. Some of these moving animals are kind of tricky because you have to know where to wait for them. Otherwise, you might miss them when you're swimming around. Merlin, oh, there you are. He wanders around just around this area. Come here. From the billfish family. Oh, that works. That's a very good name. <laughs> and I think we're done. Ta da! 
Let's see what the gift is. Ooh, puffer fish plushie. Those guys are fun. If you click on them, they shrink when they're in your den, of course. I hope this was helpful, everyone. Happy jamming! Oh, and be sure to visit the Animal Jam Spirit. We have a journey book page that has picture diagrams, too, if you ever need some more help.